Hello, pick breakers and sheep punchers. This is Jerry Duty Summons, and I'd like to welcome you today to my beautiful studio number B. Studio letter B, number B, whatever. Something B. And uh, today I would like to um, talk about redstone. Um, I, I kind of want to start a series on redstone and redstone basics and uh, how it's used and what you use it for and tips and tricks and whatnot. And to start off that series, I'd like to start off at the very beginning and to kind of introduce how redstone works. Um, I'm not using the basic text pack, texture pack. I'm using this pa uh, pack called Painterly. And so the torches look a little bit differently instead of the wire, but that's a redstone torch right there. Um, first thing that you need to know is that redstone, um, first thing, you, the concept you need to understand is how what redstone does is it carries a charge. And so, you know, a torch is one thing that'll create a charge. And you can see how that charge goes along the wires. And that charge will only go a certain distance. I believe it's 16 blocks. And so it goes to here and it'll power something right there, but it ends at this point. All right. Um, <clears throat> and so you can see another kind of concept here. So if you ever need to extend the charge, you can use what's called a repeater. And so this is a um, this is a, this is a new new repeater. It takes an input there and it puts the output there. And it just uh, goes right across. Um, this is the older style repeater. It takes an input there, inverts it, brings it back, and the same input there. So if you think of uh, redstone as either being true or false, or on or off, um, or even one or zero, this on state could be thought of as a true state, and off could be thought of as a false state. So you're transmitting the information of the state, you know, a further distance when you do that kind of thing. And you'll uh, notice that there's a delay. That is actually pretty useful in uh, certain applications, which um, I'll get to probably in a later video. Um, but continuing the theme of talking about basic kinds of um, concept within Redstone, um, I, I decided to put out a, you know, a whole bunch of blocks here to show you guys how the different um, Redstone implements are used. All right, and so in this case, the red um, red wool talks about where the output of the particular block goes. And so in this case, this torch, the output of the torch can be accessed on any of these of these blocks here. And it'll even act, it'll even uh, go up one as well. Collect some of these back up here. All right, funny. All right the next thing is a pressure plate. You see them all the time. Um, they, they'll put an output you know, straight out like that. But they'll also do an output below. So this tile, which is directly below the pressure plate, will become activated when you step on it. This goes for wooden and stone pressure plates. Um, there are some differences between how they work, but I can get into that later when it uh, comes up. Um, the same thing applies with a lever. With the condition that the lever has some um, some weird peculiarities. So if it's pointing the wrong way, it doesn't actually seem to work. And I'm not entirely sure why that is. Um, it may be, it may have to do with a north-south thing or whatever. There we go. So it's back to working. So if you ever notice your lever's not working the way you expect, that might be part of why. All right, next, uh, next is a button. You can see it'll output into any of the uh, adjacent squares. And it also will uh, only output for a certain amount of time, a lot like the pressure plate. So once it's activated, it stays on for just a little while. Um, this is a dispenser. The dispenser is kind of weird. I'm going to extend the button out through the dispenser so we can play with it some. It takes input and provides output on all adjacent tiles, even the, the one above as well, which I didn't break the block there. So if it's, um, for example, if you push the button here, it pops out a, pops out a cube. Um, but it does provide an output. Where did, I put my, where did I put my dispensers? There we go. I'll put another dispenser there and throw something in it real quick. And you'll see that, see it popped out of wood, so both of these activated. So, <clears throat> but it only goes one adjacent. It doesn't go more than that. And also note, it's not 
a, a, a redstone powered activation that is, that's happening there. It's a um, it's specialized to only activate other dispensers. So it's a little bit different. Um, people don't think about it, but doors are something that can be activated with redstone. They are a redstone device. So there's a little bit of power there. And but like I said before, the, the yellow here is where you can place inputs. And you can do that as well. So the power coming to that block or that block, either one, or any of these lower blocks. So if you actually power from underneath, you can, uh, like with a torch, like you see right there. All right, let's move on to the next one here. This is that uh, inverter block. It takes an input from any of the sides in the back and provides an output to the sides and the front and also above. And just to kind of show what happens in the input, you kind of write an input to it, that flickers off. Well, it's supposed to go back on. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. It is what it is. Um, and that's everything I want to talk about for right now. Um, I'm going to get into some more advanced concepts, talk about repeaters, and talk about, um, not repeaters, but uh, circuits, and uh, some applications, and some tricks, and some uh, you know, different things you can do. Some of my other videos have talked about different traps, and um, Hopefully this information here will give you some good ideas on how to make your own traps, your own designs, um, you know, and provide, you know, just other, other kinds of things. Now I'm just mumbling here. Oh yeah, there's one more block, which I totally forgot about. Note block. It'll take an input from any side. You can hear that thump. Yep. So, if I had planned ahead, there'd be yellow blocks all around it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. If there's a uh, like like usual, if there's any questions, just let me know in the comments field. Um, if you like my work, I'd appreciate it if you thumbed up my videos. That helps me out. And um, well, I'll call that an evening. I'm gonna go put pants back 